Hello, we'll get back to the OSC flight on the X380 in a moment. For now, a video archives from the drone mission team. One of the most essential setup of the XK quadcopter is calibration. Like most quadcopter, once power on, the best practice is not to move it or touch the LiPo batteries or the LiPo cables until the quadcopter has completed its binding and self-leveling. Or better still, just leave it until the GPS has locked. Find a flat surface, preferably concrete, not grass, to do calibration. When to calibrate? 1. When you change venue a long way from your last flying location, like greater than 100 miles. 2. When your quadcopter is drifting or rotating in a tolerable effect fashion. Basically, there is inconsistency between the GPS and compass. 3. A firmware upgrade, as it may carry some factory values. The steps to calibrate the X500 or the X380 are exactly the same. It is also shown on the quick start guide on the respective pages 8 or 9. First, the horizontal calibration. Lower the throttle stick and toggle the headlock switch for 3 times. Ensure that you see a solid green indicator stays on while you rotate around two times horizontally. Don't be shy, it has to be deliberate and emphasized to get the best results. Place it flat on the ground again. Now the vertical calibration. Lower the throttle stick and toggle the headlock switch for about 3 times. You should see no lights this time. Hold the quadcopter vertically. You should see a solid red indicator when the quadcopter is vertical. Rotate around 2 times while keeping it vertical and ensure the red indicator always stays on. Now place it flat again. Next, save the compass offsets, lower the throttle stick, and toggle the headlock switch for about 3 times to save it. If you see a yellow or red flashing light while saving, it represents the calibration that failed. It is best to repeat the calibration again. I found that completing an auto takeoff is one good way to perform a pre flight check to ensure that the quadcopter is behaving properly. If it begins to drift to the site and not hold its position, I will land manually immediately, inspect the quadcopter, the GPS, the extra weight you may have added to it that might affect the center of gravity, CG, recalibrate if needed. I hope you have found this video valuable for your next flight. From Drone Mission, this is Leo, signing off. And now a short preview of some of our recent FPV projects for the Missing Children Network.
gonna do a auto takeoff. That is right here, auto takeoff. Press this button. Here you go. Do a hit this mode. Back, hit this mode back. Now we're gonna do a return home. Go on! Three out of three. Perfect. 